right, so I'm here at the local market and I'm looking for either vegetable or fruit bargains that I can freeze dry. So my hope is I get something that uh, I can buy a large amount of that I can prep up and get ready to freeze dry. So let's go and let's see what we can find. Hang, stand by. Well, I want veggie of some kind. And I'm trying to figure out what veggie is going to be good. Good morning. Yeah, let's uh, let's see what kind of veg. Maybe green beans or oh, that broccoli looks bad. <laughs> Doesn't look good. What kind of veg do you think would be good? They have celery. That's it? Yes. I'm looking for a lot. <laughs> um, I'll buy it all. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so what do you think? We should do okra, maybe? What? Okra. This one? Maybe slice and freeze dry? Yeah, I want a lot. And then we'll clean it and then slice it, right? We'll make it a couple trays. Get like, get like, uh, yeah, get two of those, I guess. That should fill up a tray, right? What do you think, I should do some peppers too? Yes, not that one. Yeah. Get a whole bunch of this too. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably mix it up. I'll do some red slash green peppers, some okra, some celery. I don't think I can get enough bulk to do one veg in one shot, so I'm gonna make several trays of different veg, and then we'll see how it goes. That's a good start. No, get, get more peppers, I want one full tray. I get it from two places, and I got, uh, bell peppers that were red and green combined and then I got uh, some okra and what else did I get? Um, okra, celery, celery, green onion. Oh and I got Pepper. the bell peppers. All right so you'll see me next when I'm chopping it all up getting it ready to go in the freeze dryer. Stand by. All right. Hey welcome back. So I am back from the local market, and as you probably saw, I picked up some items. Not a whole lot, but I have um, some okra, or lady fingers as they're called out here, a couple bundles of these. I got all the celery they had, pretty much, and then I got a bunch of these peppers. Now some of this stuff is like getting really close to timeline, so some are really good. So it's good that I got these now. So my plan is, You'll next see me when I let all this stuff clean and cut up and on the trays. So stand by. So welcome back. So off camera I had Ricard clean and cut all the vegetables. So what I ended up with is uh, a thing of the celery greens, which I'm going to freeze dry as well. 
a whole bunch of sliced peppers that have been mostly deseeded. The actual celery, which is in the water right now, and then the okra. So I am going to take a second here off camera and get it on all the trays for you. I think I got enough for five trays. I'm hoping I got enough for five trays, but we'll find out in two seconds. Stand by. All right, so I'm definitely gonna actually have more than I thought. It looks like I'm gonna have two full batches because I have six trays filled here already and I probably have at least two more trays of the celery greens. So I will probably, well, I'm definitely gonna put these in two batches. So I'm gonna go ahead and put lids on these and get them in the freezer out of my way so I can put the rest of the greens on trays and get them in the freezer as well. You'll see me the next time I'm putting the first batch of veggie into the freeze dryer. Stand by. All right, welcome back. So I am about to put the first batch of two vegetables that you saw me just cut up and prepare into the freezer dryer to get it going. So that's all you're gonna see here real quick. Just a quick update. I did close the drain. I did pre-freeze. So let me get this guy to open. So these are the celery leaves. Those are gonna be good for soups or synagogue or anything like that. Actual celery and some red peppers and green peppers. Again, all this stuff is going to be good for uh, cooking and stuff later. So another batch of red peppers going in. And another batch of red peppers going in. And one more celery leaf. So it looks like the okra and the other stuff will be in the other batch. So this is just the, the first of the two batches. I'm gonna get them in. I have no idea how long it takes for veggies to freeze dry. This is my first attempt. So we're gonna find out together. So stand by and you'll see me pulling this one out in two seconds. All right, welcome back everyone. So the first batch of veg is actually done and I'm relatively happy that it was only 23 hours of dry time, freeze dry, which kind of makes sense because uh, it's not as dense as the other stuff I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this and hit no defrost. And I'm gonna go ahead and release the pressure here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this food out. We'll do a quick look at it. I'll get it bagged up. So hang on one second while I get this. I get this out of here. So I'm kind of excited. I'm going to dry taste the veg. I think it's going to be pretty good. All right, come on, vacuum. All right, so let's see what we got. All right, so the celery is dry. Oh, yeah, super dry. I got to be careful it doesn't fall apart. Everything's warm and crispy. All right, so I want to taste the, so you can see here that it's super crispy. Oh, so the bell pepper tastes really good. Let's look at some of the celery. Oh, it's good taste also. All right, so even you can see here, oh, let me fix this camera, hang on. So even you can see here, this is crispy dry. So I imagine when, when that's bagged up, it's gonna collapse a little bit. But that's really gonna be used because I wanna put it in soups and synagogue and some other kind of stuff. So I'm gonna get this stuff bagged up. Um, I'll see you in two seconds. All right, so it's been a few minutes. I have that first batch of veg bagged up. I went with the quart size uh, bags because it's veg, you don't know how much you're gonna use per serving. So I ended up with nine bags of bell pepper, two bags of actual celery, and five bags of the celery leaf. So I'm going to get that into the 
long-term storage. I'm gonna let my freeze dryer defrost and then I'll put the second batch of veg in. Stand by. All right, hey, welcome back. So I'm now putting the last four trays of the vegetables into the freeze dryer. This is uh, basically batch two um, of all that $20 worth of stuff I picked up the other day. So let me just get it in here. Stand by one second. Look at all that frozen okra. Some more celery leaf. Another tray of okra. And a full tray of celery. All right, so one tray short, but I didn't want to try to find just a little bit of something to go in there. So I already closed the drain valve. I'm gonna hit continue. And the second batch of four trays of vegetables is off to the races. See you in a minute. All right, welcome back for uh, the checking of batch two of the veggies of this particular video. It's been uh, 25 and a half hours. I'm gonna pull them out and see how the okra and the celery looks. Now this was only four trays in this batch. All right, trays are hot for sure. Nope. All right, so the okra, it's not slimy, but it tastes like okra, it's really strange. I'll be curious to see how that comes back. Now I'm not gonna reconstitute any of these veg in this video. I'm just gonna bag them and put them all away. But uh, let me get it all out, let me get it in bags, and I'll check back in with you guys in two seconds. All right, welcome back. So I got all of that bagged up. I got two bags of celery, three bags of celery leaf, and eight bags of the sliced okra. Now you know, it's amazing, because as I'm packing it, I'm tasting the okra, and it just tastes good as a, just a snack, just a dry snack. I highly recommend if anybody does uh, okra or lady fingers or whatever you want to call it, slice like I did. Set some aside to see if people like them as a snack because they're crispy, um, but they're not slimy with their okra. It's really good. I was, I was surprised by that. So I'm going to continue on. Um, I got a bunch of eggs going in next. So I'm not going to film that. You know me, I don't film something if I've already done it once or twice before. So if you watch this longer than normal video all the way to the end, please smash that like button. If you're new to my channel and you're still watching, check out all my other stuff, make a decision, and then hit that subscribe and notify button. I do appreciate it. I get this off in storage, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.